There's also something called first degree price discrimination. This is not just when we group our consumers, but we can charge every single individual the absolute maximum they were willing and able to pay. As companies increase the amount of information they hold on us and they are tracking our internet use, they can see in our cookies how often we are looking at certain websites, whether we're traveling for business, for pleasure, and they can set a price that is the absolute maximum we will be willing and able to pay. We know if we were drawing a standard cost revenue diagram, we would have our average revenue and our marginal revenue, our average total cost curve and our marginal cost. Originally, before we learned about price discrimination, we would have said that they could set the price based on the profit maximizing condition. So I'm going to set QF, then the price they would set would be P1 and we know they would make a profit. Now we can see that there is a consumer surplus of this triangle. That consumer surplus represents the difference between the price the consumer was willing and able to pay and the price that they paid for the product. So it's the culmination of all of these vertical lines. That's my consumer surplus. However, if the firm can now charge each person the exact amount they're willing and able to pay, we're going to eliminate this consumer surplus. If this consumer was willing to pay 50 pounds, they charge them 50 pounds. This consumer was willing to make pay 45 pounds and they charge them 45 pounds. They charge that person 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. They charge every single person the absolute maximum they were willing and able to pay. And they're going to charge, they're going to keep producing all the way up until the point where they are no longer making any more money by producing more. They're going to produce at the allocatively efficient level where P is equal to MC, and that is the lowest price they will charge anyone, but not forgetting that they charge every single person the maximum amount. Their revenue that they made will be this pesium. The cost will be set by C1. And so their profit is the difference between their cost and their revenue. So now their profit is all of this area and there is no consumer surplus being made.